It's okay if you don't understand your feelings, but what's not okay and what is diminishes you and diminishes a part of yourself is when you push away your feelings or you numb them because you're actually rejecting a part of yourself. My name is Patience, I'm a spiritual life coach and this is something I'm reflecting on this week that I invite you, encourage you to do the same as well. And before we get into it, listen, let me let me get my glasses on and let us get some tea because we're going to be spilling some tea on this one. This one has been one that has been a big lesson for me to continue learning and I've learned and that is the power of my feelings, the power of your feelings. I invite you to join in on this as well. The impact of when you decide miss your feelings and that could be because you were taught to actually numb your feelings you may have been on the receiving end of like what you say doesn't matter if you're seen is better that you're seen and not heard however that manifested especially in your childhood feelings are literally energy emotions are energies in motion and it's natural for us to have feelings we're human beings we operate on emotion aware of it or not we are operating on emotion and so it's a very weird and backwards where i don't even know where this came from where it's like oh emotions are icky no 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 of course i know it's, it's from trauma but feelings hold lessons they hold codes and information and understanding that is from your higher consciousness that is how your higher conscious whether it's gods that you identify with whether it's the universe whether it's ancestors spirits they are speaking to you through your feelings it's okay if you don't understand your feelings but what's not okay and what is diminishes you and diminishes a part of yourself is when you push away your feelings or you numb them because you're actually rejecting a part of yourself and did i learn that the hard lesson or did i learn that the hard way okay <laughs> and which is why i'm even here you know talking about it and by acknowledging and allowing myself and holding the space for me to feel my feelings and allowing myself to feel entitled to my feelings because that's something as well that i was previously taught or conditioned of like you're not entitled to that feeling no you're overreacting you're too sensitive listen i'm sensitive yes i am and if i'm overreacting i'm overreacting because i'm entitled to and i choose to how you react is how you react but what you would not do and what now i'm very particular about is no one can tell me how i feel apart from myself and if i express my feeling and you can't hold the space for it that's okay but please know I've already expressed it. But what's most important is the motivation behind that is I no longer suppress my feelings for the sake of diminishing myself or for the sake of the other person. I would express it, it's in the how I express it that is the most important thing. But I no longer diminish myself, diminish my worth, diminish my voice by not speaking on how I feel and not honoring my feelings. And also for me, it's a direct channel from my higher self. That's how I'm moving through trauma. That's how I'm moving through all the different waves and unpredictabilities in life is the information and the feelings. So if I'm feeling sad, I'm like, oh, okay. Nothing has really happened to make me sad, but this is coming up for a reason. That's okay. Sadness, I, I see you, boo. Stay there. That's okay. Let's ride it. What, what we need to do? Gonna have a hot bath? Okay, baby, let's do it. Do we need to watch a movie that'll make us cry? Okay, baby. Do we need to schedule a cry during our period week? Okay, we're there. We are there. All that's to say is it's safe to honor your feelings it's safe to feel your feelings it's safe to be curious about them and try to understand okay why is this coming up for me is it some unresolved situation trauma something that is coming up for healing something for me to move through and moving through can look like you just sitting and holding that space for you and if you're seeking support in holding the space, you can seek um, support from professionals. You can seek support from your friends, those that you know will hold the space for you. But it's just really, really important to be able to honor 
and understand that you are entitled to your feelings you are entitled and are valuable and are deserving and are worthy of being seen of being heard of being loved you matter and so what how you feel and what you feel matters right so I hope that resonates with you. It's definitely been a lesson I'm learning and I'd love to know if that's also something that you are learning and how are you holding space for your feelings? How are you navigating that? Please do share with me in the comments. And of course, if you need support in doing so, I'm your girl, call me, call me, DM me, get to the website, do all them things there. And of course, follow, share for all things spiritual wellness, inner child healing work, psychic mediumship and all them things there. Until next time, my loves. Mwah.